Sure. Um, I, I knew a breakdown was coming. I didn't know it was going to be a breakdown interrupted by blast beats. Crystal Lake doing Crystal Lake things. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications and everything's going to be just fine. Now we're back with more Crystal Lake. You know why? Because I love them. Also because Karen, one of our Discord OGs, otherwise known as Ting Ting, asked me to do them and asked me to do this song called Disobey. And I said, yeah, why not? Discord's an awesome place. We have a great community there as we do on YouTube. And if you guys would like to hang out more chat, ask questions, put forward song suggestions, have a laugh. It's a great community. I will leave the link for the Discord server in this description of this video. Tank the Tech and I share that server. So you get one of us, you get both of us. It's a great time. Um, yeah, looking forward to this Crystal Lake killing. And I know I'm going to be drop kicked in the chest with some great heavy metal core. So without further ado, Crystal Lake, disobey. Let's see what you got. Damn, that's how you start a song. I'll go back to lead in. Some Silence of the Lambs-ish going on over here. Listen, Crystal Lake, disobey. Man, this is off to an intense start. Vocal phrasing into that kind of full band essence. Intense double kick, really good chugging there, really great guitar work. The screaming on top is just um, really intense. It did kind of break quickly and go into more of a gallop kick. There was more of a change in that signature, but it was the same intensity and same kind of melodic structure. His screaming on top is really interesting because he's got a great, great scream. And one of the things he's doing right here, and that's what I've gone, kind of gone back for you to listen to, there's a lot of uh, changing of the shape of his mouth. It goes from like a big O open mouth sound to a closed um more kind of valley bit and it's just it's you can hear that scream take a bit of a journey and it adds almost uh the perception that there's this like tonal value to it it's very cool and it creates a little bit of um extra dynamic on top of what would ordinarily with other bands be a typical just out and out scream for brutality Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. Give it all to me. Um, again, start with the vocals there. Nice scream, but you have that uh, kind of speak sing at the back. It's more of a shout, but there is a nice tone to it. And that's a really good, I say backing vocal, but they seem quite balanced in place. Definitely the scream, probably just from an intensity and volume point of view is, is a little bit more forward in the mix for me. Vocals, um, the singer's just behind it, but it's really well balanced. Um, I love the mix of this. Super full, condensed really hard and compressed and then pushed up as high as they can in the mastering. Um, for them to go into that beat with the quick chugs, the quick double kick, I really like it. But what I like the most about it is when it changes and evolves. And you can hear the snare placement change to make it seem less like they're working together. They've deconstructed something that people normally do the other way around. Feels like everything's kind of flowing and open and then everything aligns. They've kind of switched that up. I like it a lot. Ah, oh, I'm so glad I waited just a little bit longer there 
for that to all ring out the way it did that dun, dun, for, that's like when music's working together but it's still free flowing there's no stopping and controlling the notes and then all of a sudden the double kick transfer i think it i think it just started there you can hear that double kick coming in again and it's just taking something that i think they're doing it because a lot of the techniques they're using have been done before in other songs, other bands, and quite uh, noticeable bands and songs. However, they're doing something fresh with it. They're changing it up. They're putting a lot of effort into tweaking and amending as they go to make it a great journey for the listener. Just when you latch onto something, they're like, yeah, that, but this. And they, they kind of push you in a direction that makes you, as a listener, it's challenging your ears as well. It's challenging your ability to absorb that intensity and aggression and then find the musicality and talent behind it because it is there and it's magical. No, you know what? Uh, build ups are a funny thing, and they they seem to reset and build up a lot. This is great, by the way. What they this is great. Um, they uh, listen to the industrial effects in the background. There's like yeah, environmental stuff. There's tweaks and pulls. There's in, or dissonant little bits in the back, and those are supposed to uh, provide a bit of a, I guess, a filler in terms of the atmosphere. But it does, you know, your ear does latch onto it. And the good thing about that is, is if your ear gets sparked by something, and you you your 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 musical brain gets thrown in that direction, then what the intensity of the guitar and vocals and drums are doing, pulling you right back. So you get to kind of be challenged in terms of what you're listening and looking out for. And I encourage you with songs like this, when it's compressed so much and it's mastered so tightly, it's more of a challenge to find those bits and to listen for them. But I really encourage you to do that. That's one way of, of really practicing active listening. Um, I, I knew a breakdown was coming. I didn't know it was going to be a breakdown interrupted by blast beats. Crystal Lake doing Crystal Lake things. There's a lot of um, artistic interpretation here. I'm not talking about the video. I'm talking about the music. There's a lot of, you can hear that deep kind of spoken vocal in the back that is almost something that's easy to ignore. And that's the point of it. They want you to hear it, but they want you to try and listen out for something else. They want you to be visually shocked as well. Um, and they're doing just that. When they go into this piece here, where it's those single chord ring outs, and they're not fully rung out. There is slight control on them. They want the wobble. They want the... Um, the length of the play out, but they don't want it to be fully open. So that takes away from the gaps in between. But when you hear the drums hit, listen for the cymbal um, uh, hits in the middle. That's to keep that intensity, to keep that rhythm and percussion element. So you know what the tempo is. It's a good introduction to what I'm sure is going to be a dynamic ending. It's a nice 
last guitar effects in the back that's ringing. You can almost hear like chains there as well, at just at the end. And that ding, 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 whatever they're using to create that, whether it be a synth piece or modulation, where they're doing it through like a keys piece, um, it's very impactful. It's creepy. It was going towards the end of the song. It wasn't just there. And I thought it was um, awesome. Intense song, really brutal. You guys did say this one was, was going to be brutal. And um, Karen, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, that's one of those songs that's probably easier to listen to without me talking about it because there's so much hype and so much intensity going on that sometimes it can deflect and take away. But the point of this channel is to teach, educate, and to learn myself, to explore new music myself. And I, I, I just couldn't call this a reaction if I wasn't providing what I think is um, valuable information to you guys. So it is what it is. If you like it, that's cool. If you don't, that's cool too. Um, great band. I need more of that. I grew up with a lot of this kind of stuff, so I need more of it. Um, this is heavier than what I remember their last um, track that I listened to was. So I kind of want to see what the full scope is. I've seen some softer bits and I've seen some more brutal bits. So I kind of want to see what their full spectrum of sound is. And it's awesome. It's all just awesome. I like him a lot. Uh, let me know where to go next. Until then, please be safe, be nice to each other every day. Good day.